Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we'll explore what NFTs are, what they contain, and why they are so valuable. By the end of this video, all your doubts about NFTs will be cleared for sure. So let's get started. What are NFTs? NFTs stand for non fungible token. Here, non fungible means something that cannot be exchanged one to one with another item because it is unique. For example, you cannot replace the original Mona Lisa painting with a duplicate or any other artwork because the original is unique and incomparable. Now, fungible means something that can be exchanged with an equivalent like dollars or Bitcoin because they hold the same value. For example, if I give you $100, you can return it as like 10 $10 notes because the value is the same. However, if I give you a cricket bat signed by Sachin Tendulkar, you cannot return just any random bat because this bat itself has very uniqueness. That's the difference between fungible and non-fungible. How do NFTs work? NFTs are digital tokens stored on a blockchain. So let's understand how they work like step by step. The step one is minting. Creating an NFT is called minting. A digital file is created and registered on a blockchain platform. During this process, a unique fingerprint, token ID and ownership details are added to the digital file. First, let's understand fingerprint. A fingerprint is a cryptographic hash generated from your digital file like for example, image, audio or video. Any slight change to this file will create a new hash, protecting it from tampering. The hash is stored on the blockchain to confirm the file's originality. So what is token ID? Token ID is a unique number assigned to your NFT on the blockchain. This ID links to the owner's wallet and metadata, making it possible to identify the owner. In this step two is smart contract setup. Smart contracts are essential for NFT creation. They are automated codes on the blockchain that execute transactions based on the predefined rules. For example, royalties for creators during resale are automated through smart contracts. Step three is metadata storage. NFTs don't store the actual file data. Instead, the file's metadata such as its name, description, and asset link is stored in decentralized storage systems like IPFS and the metadata link is updated on the blockchain. Step 4. Listing and Ownership Transfer After minting, NFTs can be listed on marketplaces like OpenSea or Magic Eden. When a buyer purchases the NFT, the blockchain updates the transaction and ownership is transferred to the buyer. The entire process is transparent and tamper-proof. What do you actually own when you buy an NFT? When you buy an NFT, you are not purchasing the actual artwork, but the token representing it. Others can download the art, but the NFT token remains uniquely yours recorded on the blockchain. For example, it's like owning a famous sports jersey with while replicas exist, only you have the original. Practical uses of NFTs NFTs have numerous use cases that go beyond digital art. Let's look at some examples. Digital art Many artists create and sell their artwork as NFTs. Let's take an example. Vignesh Sundaran purchased an NFT called Every Day is the First 500 Days for Staggering $69 million, which is crazy. Second one is in game items. In games like Axie Infinity, NFTs serve as characters or rare items. You can use them in the game or sell them for real money. For example, if you have a sword, which is very rare, you can use in the game or if you don't use it, you can sell it for money and then you can get real bugs, collectibles and tweets and more. For example, like Peter's founder sold his first tweet as an NFT for $29 million. Fascinating, right? But as of now, if you see, uh, NFTs are getting used in many other places as well, like concert tickets and virtual real estate. Why are NFTs so expensive? Here are some reasons like why NFTs are so costly. The first one is being the first. First edition NFTs or initial drop holds immense value like rare trading cards. For example, CryptoPunks or Bored Ape NFTs are extremely expensive because they are first generation. Utility For example, if a celebrity creates their own NFT collection and announces that NFT holders will have the exclusive opportunity to meet them in person and enjoy private lunch once a year, then the value of this NFT is likely to increase and potentially become quite expensive. That's how most of the NFTs work. Rarity and ownership history. Limited edition NFTs are those from celebrities are very popular and often sell for high prices. Thank you everyone. This is all about NFTs. I hope I've cleared all your doubts.
Thank you so much. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.